Hi, my name is Katalina. I am a student at Green University of Kent. I just finished my second year and I'm going into my third. My name is Sandra. I am a fresh graduate of um, the University of Kent. I graduated two months ago. So I do the first hour of work usually on the train and then I get into the office around 8.45 and from there I have 15 minutes until like an SEO meeting so a team meeting um, and I spend those 15 minutes just looking at my calendar and doing admin tasks and looking at the schedule that I have for today um, or the rest of the day should I say and then I plot out um, what I can do what might be left over from the previous days that I might want to prioritize and then for the rest of the day I'll be either doing content optimizations keyword research tasks um, technical SEO tasks um, and then yeah, I usually finish around 4.30 now and then do another hour of um, work on the trains back home. So I feel like um, every single day is quite different. Uh, I usually start my day with some admin work and weekends. Maybe I will do some research and write for some internal trainings that I'm developing and some match cards that I'm also developing. Or I could do like some customer personas for clients. Um, or just help um, other people in different departments with knowledge like, insights. Um, so there's te the technical side, which is learning a whole bunch of software, a whole slew of software that I wasn't previously aware of. I still remember the first day that um, my manager introduced me to Google Search Console, which is a very, very powerful and free um, I guess software or extension, not sure what it would be classified as. Um, and it basically gives you like an in-depth understanding of yourself, um, your business and your site and how to optimize it with different technical SEO things like 404s um, and redirecting those and any other errors that might be coming up on your site. For the soft skill side of things, time management is something that I have been able to exercise and improve on immensely. I thought before I knew how to organize my tasks in uni with like all the assignments, but uh, here I've been a lot more um, able to see it in a practice, like in an office environment, um, in a workplace environment. Um, yeah, time management, team working as well for those tasks where I'm not able to complete certain sections of it and I'll have to reach out to other members of the team um, so we can like divide and conquer. Honestly, I learned a lot in my internship and I felt like I grew a lot as well. I always knew that I loved marketing, especially digital marketing, but it was so much more to it than even like I thought it was. And I understood like what, um, how important every single area is, like SEO, paying, CX, um, like management tasks, even like time management or um, how I manage my own tasks and deadlines because I have to be responsible to get this done in time um, and yeah also it was kind of like the first time that I had tasks daily that I had to mm -hmm. finish so yeah it, it was a bit challenging at first but now I'm like so happy that I can like be confident in what I'm doing. I got the internship with the Employability Point Scheme, which is this amazing scheme at the University of Kent. And um, I just earned points from every event that I went to, well organized. I just did a bunch of little things. I didn't even know that I was like collecting points and then I just randomly saw it one day. It was absolutely great. But I helped organize uh, applicant days and open days and also marketing society events um, and also um, I was doing a lot of content for the Cantinian pages. So for the employability point scheme it's um, initiated or it starts as soon as you get onto campus I suppose like as soon as you enroll. <laughs> um, um, so I usually attended um, seminars, um, did society activities, I engaged in um, the business startup journey and 
did a bunch of personal um, extracurricular activities outside, um, including mentoring, receiving and giving mentoring. Um, and there are different points associated with those. It ranges from five points to 20 points. Um, and after you get around 200 points is when you're able to apply for an internship. I think because of uh, being a human behavior intern, like I had to actually understand deeply every single area. So, uh, for example, when I did some work for SEO, like I actually had to deeply understand the importance of SEO and how it works in order to, for me to give like the best human behavior insights. So I think this was kind of like the most challenging part because I didn't have any knowledge of what even SEO or paid is, on how it works. So I had to actually like give time for me to research. Screaming Frog immediately came to mind. There are, are a lot of um, buttons to learn um, that will affect how it, um, your website or the client's website is crawled. Um, and if you like don't have a particular button selected or don't have it set up in a particular way, you can end up with very inaccurate data. And if you have inaccurate data going forward, the task you complete or the, the document you produce for the client will be inaccurate. And I've experienced having to like redo tasks all over again <laughs> because my initial crawl has not been particularly accurate. to go for it and to give it a try um, and also to get to know the company, to understand their values and um, to see if it is the right fit for them and also yeah, just to believe in themselves and to send that application. <laughs> um, how I got my internship or something that was brought up to me is that I um, I ran an Etsy store, so I did like a side business while I was studying, selling uh, earrings, origami earrings and handmade reading accessories. So through that, I was able to apply um, a lot of the digital marketing and mostly SEO um, techniques that I'd learned. More succinctly, look for different courses and look for free resources online and then try to apply what you've learned learned theoretically into um, practice. So the first thing that comes to mind is Harry. He's so cute. He's so precious. Um, he does tend to trap you with like giving him pats whenever like you do give in and like, you know, go to him. Um, but he, he fulfills his position as Chief Happiness Officer very well. Um, my second thing would be, I really like how open Reflect like, is with their whole team. Uh, I've noticed it specifically um, in team meetings. Like every month you have an evaluation of um, each department individually, as well as um, highlighting like different people and what they've done and how they've done well, um, as well as looking at, um, I guess, upper management as well, um, and then being them being really opened about um, the progress that the company has made for the month, for the quarter, um, their expectations, and um, looking at how they're helping each um, department separately, but also together and each individual as well. Uh, I really like that with the comments and suggestions that people make, you can actually see them being actioned. So you feel like you're being listened to. Um, and maybe it's not just feel like you, you're being listened to, but you can actually see that you're being listened to because they show you um, like what has been done. I absolutely love the people here and I never thought that like a working space could feel like home, if that makes sense. And um, it's just something that I really needed in that period of time. I didn't even know that I did. So it was absolutely great like being in the office, surrounded by so many people and learning so much. Let's go.